How are y'all doing today on this beautiful Tuesday morning today? Tuesday is uh, roughly two times better than Monday. A Monday? Monday and Monday. Are we good? Are we chilling? Yeah. Forsen Erdeglet is gone. And so is Forsen Kraken. C H R A K E N. They're all gone. Apparently, some. Apparently, according to Twitch, it's some, <laughs> some dude strangling some dude. I don't know, some weird stuff, shit. I don't know how they could see that. That doesn't look anything like that. I'm not a big, uh... Mm, fan of, you know... Skating games? But then again, I don't think I mind it. Fake Boomer. No, I played Tony Hawkins back in the day. I traded my fucking Pokemon cards or some of my Pokemon cards for Tony Hawk 2 on PlayStation. Daymare1998 is out today too. Yeah, that's the game I wanted to play the most. It's like uh, Resident Evil, I think. Survival horror. Uh, we saw it at E3, I believe, one year. I don't think it was this year, but I think it was um, a year before. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure we saw it. We saw it. Uh, so it can't be, you know, the worst thing ever. Usually if you're at E3 you have some kind of budget. How much do you think it costs to be on the stage of E3? How much do you think uh, you pay for stage time? Are there any numbers of that? I would like to know that. Depends on what conference. I mean... Yeah... I mean, if you know one of the conferences and how much people pay, I, I'll take it. I don't, I don't really care which one, but just a rough estimate. Yes, it costs about 7,387 per 20 minutes. Nah. That's a lie. That's a lie. It costs at least a hundred K for twenty minutes. At least probably more. Probably more. Pulling random numbers. No, I'm saying at least. I wouldn't be surprised if it's half a million. I'm just saying there's no chance anything under <sighs> under that. But this game looks kinda ugh. No reviews. Is it even out? Uh alright, so We have the, there's a couple of new, there's, it's funny because there's one little Resident Evil Ish, I don't even know if it's The nightmares from that day never let go Welcome to Uganda Neither did the wounds I survived hell once The whole town is gone that freak creature, I've, I've never seen anything like that. It's not like the other. Can anyone hear me? This I left the gate wide open. This time, the devil has come to claim his due. 
right. Instant class. Also. You really think you can Execute walk away from this? <laughs> How is this possible? I won't leave another man behind. Not like this. Not like this. So this one, I kind of wanna, I wanna try. Uh, and then there was, uh, then there was uh, a little Devil May Cry as well releasing today. We have, Dev we have li little Resident Evil. Hello. And we have Little Devil May Cry, both released on the same day. Amazing. No reviews, yeah, no reviews because it's releasing in like Either half an hour or your own volition two and a half hour. Taken extraordinary courage. It's me there. We just want to talk. God damn it, Steam is so fucking trash. <sighs> this fucking my video player is a great many of my angels. Why would I speak with you? Well, I got a proposition for you. Wait. I'm someone you should meet. Savior and destroyer. <laughs> for eons, I've pondered how you've looked. Nice fucking shit. I don't know where the fucking video players It's like we're back in 1990, man. Uh, all right. Uh, Daymare reviews. What was it? I didn't see. Twenty-one. Twenty-one positive reviews. Oh. No shit, Sherlock. Welcome to Uganda. I mean, the game is quite pricey, right? The game costs. The game costs twenty seven euros. Uh, twenty seven euros. And it just released. Usually, usually the reviews aren't very positive. When uh, a game costs this much, the people expect more from it, right? So maybe it is decent. Maybe it is decent. 
paying 27 euros for a game you're expecting something and people are not like raging or anything so maybe it's 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 a resident evil clone and you know resident evil is it's good uh i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll see the winner will uh, for sure get some motherfucking tea though Choco, dude, my dong, with a seal, I am pointer, a thought stomper. They took my dir, a lean to a, a Leo Croc cigar, Daniel underscore, Crolutrath, J O E, and Bustin Nut. Nice, thank you. IQ Pirate in Baltimore, right? Welcome back, boys. And my GNL, the says, uh, You want to know uh, what weeps do in their free time? I don't think this is. Yeah, I know this guy. This fucking guy. Uh, I'm basically, I, I don't think that was safe for stream. But uh, it's the it's the fucking I don't know I don't know what the guy's called or anything, but he's like a YouTuber or something. Uh, Melon Pan is that what it's called? Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't safe for stream, regardless. It wasn't safe for stream, regardless. Yeah. Chad donates three and says, uh, "Oh, it's for you if you want." Now I open, what's this one? Ah, uh, it's the cream croissant. I just didn't want to give it to you right away. I wanted you to eat the normal croissants first. If you don't want the whole thing, I'll take half. Uh, Chad on his screen says, that feel when CRT monitors are still superior or to your G-Sync 1440p 144 LCD. I actually have 240, but okay. Uh, BRB going to the nearest homeless shelter to find a crusty old monitor. By the way, this is a digital foundry. They are PC experts. Hey everyone, so what's going on here? This is all a bit different, isn't it? Well, <laughs> something strange is happening at Digital Foundry. Last week, John showed us his retro PC attached to a CRT monitor. And well, things kind of snowballed from there. So here's the thing. CRT technology, decades in the making, it evolved so much over so many years. And well, at the turn of the millennium, things just sort of stopped. We moved on to flat panels. And based on what John has seen with his experiments, and based on what I'm seeing right here with this monitor, the legendary Sony FW900, I think maybe we've missed something here. We've, we've kind of turned our back on what is an exceptional technology for gamers. So, FW900 here. It's a progressive scan, high definition CRT monitor, 24 inches there on the diagonal. And well, the picture quality that you get with it is it. Okay, absolutely it. amazing. And well, here's the thing. A couple of days ago, I was talking with John about the new control patch, and we were discussing how the performance has improved in the new patch. But the conversation quickly veered to just how amazing control looks on a CRT monitor. And here's the thing, you don't need massively high resolutions to get an incredible picture. And that means that we can actually run the game fully maxed on RTX technology, use all of those features and still get a phenomenal image with phenomenal motion resolution quality that far exceeds even a 4K OLED. So what I'm going to do here is uh, something a little different. But the FPS is still going to be capped to like 60, is it not? show you the majesty of the FW900 at work and, uh, you know, get some shots of how this vintage 2030 monitor looks, the, you know, the strengths and the weaknesses. Let's just say that it's rather large in terms of its depth. And uh, yes, I'm going to go back to that conversation I had with John during our The human eye can only see 480. All of this stuff- It can do 120. Oh, really? But it's here for you now, so enjoy. Well, 
then you'll be at a disadvantage in uh, competitive games. It's the one with the by far the biggest install base, so that would be my target platform. So it's surprising that it shipped in that state. There's a little bit more though for us to talk there about, is, though. Yeah, I suppose. because um, <laughs> <laughs> this is completely non-patch related, and it's just indulging what is swiftly becoming a bit of a fetish. I mean, they uh, <laughs> they play Smash on this shit competitively, yeah, but yeah, then so both people are playing the under the same the circumstances, you know. Uh, but anything that's a PC game online, you just put yourself at a disadvantage, you know, with ha not having high refresh rate. Not necessarily, there are other factors than refresh rate where CRT wins. Like what? In a, in a, let's say, let's say Counter-Strike. There were some revelations there. So, Amazing. What, so what, I will say this. So the, these these monitors, they're pretty old now, right? Um, I've been input lag and response time. Days here. Uh, yeah, but, but I feel like somehow is that CRT is that different? Is that now, difference? Point, does it actually make a difference in practice? Absolute best. These things support very high refresh rates. Can you tell a difference? Uh, PCs back yeah. when CRTs were in use. Really in terms of input lag with this monitor rates. and a flat so screen now you can and because of the way crt's handle resolutions you can also i don't know if you have lot. i will say on this monitor playing a game it's something like 1280 by 960. our monitors have one millisecond uh, my 4k lcd it just, it just does it's it's cleaner smoother nicer uh it just there's no motion blur and so that's why i decided let's load up control on there and so with control i decided to just play it at 1024 by 768. That's under 12. That's under 720p. That seems like that would be an awful resolution, but it looks gorgeous on a CRT. And as a result, I was able to run it at 120 frames per second, which now was locked, so it was very, very stable. And I was able to all right, max out all of the ray tracing features. So full ray traced, 120 frames per second on a CRT. Uh, with perfect motion, you know, no LCD blur at all. This is just about the smoothest thing you could possibly lay eyes on. I will say, high refresh rate on a CRT looks better than every single LCD ever made, period, in motion. And I stand by that. I don't care if you're using black frame insertion or any sort of, like, ultra-low motion blur. It doesn't, it doesn't match up. I long su suspected this. But it's absolutely 100% true. If you've not seen a CRT in a while, uh, well, I mean, I would say go look at it. But at the same time, if you do, you might not be able to go back to your LCD. <laughs> Which is the problem, because I saw what you've been doing with... What uh, resolution CRT is this and right now on the screen? <laughs> so I spent considerably more than 10 euros on the, the legendary Sony Trinitron FW900. 1920-1200. Oh. CRT monitor. Uh, it can handle uh, resolutions up to, I believe, uh, 20, uh, 2560 by 1600. Yeah, so higher than 1440p. Higher than 1440p, and you can go lower and run at extreme uh, refresh rates. And uh, the footage you've been seeing here has been controlled on my system uh, with a 2080 Ti running at the specs you see on the screen now. And I agree with you that. <laughs> We're going to have to do a separate video on this, but Control just looks amazing on, on, on this screen, and um, Welcome to everything, you, does. <laughs> everything does. Everything does. It's revelatory. And, you know, the, the point is that there's been a rush towards uh, higher resolutions, you know, 4K and whatnot. But sample and hold, which is the way LCDs mm -hmm. work, is such that you lose motion resolution to the point where it can go down to like 400 lines, which uh, CRT doesn't do that. Yeah, and over the years, L LCD manufacturers have attempted to offset Welcome this, especially you, gaming yeah. PC monitors. They've got ultra high refresh rates. They've so they're telling me that I should get reduce blur. If I can CRT so monitor, huh? Thinking, wow, they're actually getting close to CRT quality. It looks really good, but it's yeah. not. <laughs> if you go back, you really see that no, we're still a long way away from actually matching that you just like even if you're playing this is like exactly like autophile retards go on ePay this shit monitor. costs like two thousand dollars use so because they just paid a lot of money it's good right in front of something you'll see it big time and again even using 
uh, you know, black frame insertion and other similar techniques. It gets so much closer, but it's still not. I that still don't think that and this monitor has it's, an it's advantage like, and not only that, in it's the online multiplayer game. shooters. Uh, you know, the it doesn't matter at all when you're playing a single player game like this. To, like you're... If you're not at that resolution, uh, you're going to have upscale blur. This is the only reason why when we talk about resolution, when you say, oh, 900p on a 1080p screen doesn't look great, the only reason you would ever say that is because you're displaying 900p upscale to 1080p on a panel with that native resolution or higher. And then when it moves... And it moves and it blurs. Why? So because 240 fucking hertz has an advantage over 140, CRT, it and every pro can feel it when they play an FPS games. You can display any low resolution. You can put 640 by 480 on there. You're going to get scan lines, but it's going to look good. Mm -hmm. And it's just this ability to display Welcome all these different the resolutions game. where they all look great while eliminating all motion blur with excellent black levels. It's just, I can't believe how like how much we've lost by moving to LCD. Yeah. You're not a pro. I'm a pro. The, the, the I can feel the difference when I play 240 and 142. CRT, you can actually pour it back into Welcome features and still get a, a, yeah. an image that looks very Welcome well you you know, it's going to be subjective but it does hold up against lcd spectacularly so exactly you don't need 4k when you're running a crt you just don't and you can pour that right back into all those yeah i never play 4k games. i don't care about 4k at, insane at all frame rates uh no problem it just looked unbelievable on there and I'm getting excited because it's just, it's one of those things where I knew it was different, but I didn't realize, I, I mean, I've been playing on CRT televisions for a long time, but going back to this monitor and it's just, it's, it's a revelation. Yeah. 1080p is optimal in most scenarios. No, I don't think that matters too much. 1080p. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could go uh, I think that's a, I think that's a preference thing. Uh, I do think the, the frequency matters. Oh the 1080p, a lot of people played on a lower resolution in Counter-Strike, even though 1080p existed. Uh, I think it's just a preference thing, what you're used to. And there were some other advantages as well to not doing 1080p. How about that 45 inch not just like they sold back in the day because you're used to the lower one, but some other reasons to do it. I forgot exactly what it was. It was in 1.6, not in <laughs> CSGO. I think the point is, though, that, um, you know... Alex I think some people still do it in CSGO, actually, now that I think about it. But features, uh, in order to bigger models, resolutions. But yeah. I'm Get right still plays on 1024 yeah. times 768, I think. Oh, really? Like I said, yeah. Uh, my PC was just I, I knew that some people still did it, it no in, in CSGO, but a lot of people did it in, in 1.6. CRTs. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, look, we're, we're spoiling a future video here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will say, though, with control specifically, I noticed some of the techniques they use for rendering with the AA and the, the blur and the TAA, all of that stuff. 640 makes a lot of times sense 480 was popular, yeah. I feel like you don't really need it on a CRT. 800 times 600 was uh, I've like this a lot with a lot of these the standard, I feel like, for like even like known pro people on the playing that panel, shit. But it's not as necessary on a tube but we'll talk more about this in the future good stuff <laughs> yeah i mean we've just spoiled the entire future video but um, uh, let's go with it <laughs> you can edit some okay yeah, look, i don't know this one up so there you go control running on i feel like these are not the players who enjoy a good online multiplayer shooter these are some serious boomers that enjoy their single player games uh so i don't think they they and even if they did play those games, there it's no way, no chance that they are at a level where they can actually tell a difference or perform differently with different frequencies. Yeah, I mean, it looks good and all, honestly. Welcome to Uganda. But I don't think. If you understood response time better, you, you'd agree. There isn't a monitor on the market that has low enough response time to support 240 hertz. Yeah, but it still supports more than 140, does it not? Even if it's not the full 240, right? There's still it, it still gives you better performance. 
because you can't tell a difference, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Welcome to Uganda. I'm not a tech god, I'm just a god gamer. I'm just a god gamer, boys. That's all there is to it. Maybe I can't pinpoint the difference, but I can feel a difference, you know. Uh, Anonymous Donuts 3 says, Hi, Mr. Force, I reached level 60 in Classic last night. Thanks for being there to get me through leveling. Welcome to Uganda. You're welcome. Is it everything you ever hoped for, sir? Is my question. How are the uh, WoW streamers feeling about Classic right now? Are they still having a lot of fun? The, the WoW streamers or have they started being a bit pissy, pissy about it? Welcome to Uganda. They love it. People get banned for exploiting bosses. How do you exploit bosses in classic? Welcome to Uganda. So the set is getting bored. Yeah, I don't. I thought that would be the case. Exploit to respawn bosses to kill them multiple times a week. Oh, because of layering. There's some shit you can do there. Oh. That's... Yeah, that's stupid. Show curtain. There you go. <clears throat> well, is he is it is Soda taking a lot of shit like uh, like gold and and items and and stuff? How are the streamer privileges going? Yes, no. Soda, nope. Asmon ball this. I mean, I can, like, it can ruin your experience to get everything for free and not, like, because then you don't get the satisfaction of finally getting your epic mount after grinding the gold spots in whatever place for, like, three hours every day for a week, you know? It's about the journey, not the goal. Yeah, that was pretty much how it was back in the day. Uh, now I feel like it could be a case of every WoW streamer competing about who is the the fattest, you know, the fattest, that has the fattest character. So they accept gifts. Uh, oh, fucking this streamer has Epic Mount and fucking... Best in slot amulet and weapon and stuff uh, that he looted with Master Looter or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know if, if they are the ones handling that in the raids, but. Amulet. Yeah, I meant to say trinket. I just couldn't think of the. Uh, the word in time. Um. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured that I would get bored if when I got level 60 playing, but uh, I mean, I mean, I guess they're gonna, they're, there's still like a bunch of people playing. Uh, I doubt, I doubt Blizzard will release any numbers once it starts declining, right? So, but uh, yeah. Hey, what up, mama? Mama. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why did I call my dog mama? That was random. 
Figure 420 says, have you checked out Cub on Steam? It's really hard to complete all five stages. Smiley face. I haven't. I kind of have the games I want to try. Is this... No. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Uh, there was another game as well. Naughty Crawl. Welcome to Uganda. But it looks kinda like uh release today. I don't know, is it like a roguelike but only in inside of a cockpit or something? It's good. Um, doesn't look that amazing. Huh. Minute BNN, the tier 3, man. Scuffed angle. Well, I fixed it. Thank you for 16 months. Bjorn Sarlis, Diablo 3 Immortal. Sorry, Diablo Immortal Developer. Uh, Kippen, Kopit Show, Maro, Ekora, Sioka. Thank you, boys. Uh, Kek W Donuts as a slow must have to check out this cool video. Yes, I am growing strong. Yes, yes, I am growing very strong. Yes, yes, <laughs> my muscles are getting bigger. Oh, <laughs> what is this voice I'm doing? Yes, the sleeping times. Oh, sleep so many dream. Oh. <laughs> Now it's time to pump the muscles. Yes, another day of muscle or <laughs> Hey Bulk Bogan, you must retarded. No, I am muscle. <laughs> you know what? We're going on a massacre, fuck it. We're just gonna kill everybody. Alright. Thanks for that one. I do appreciate it. Almost ca kappa. Alright. Uh, is it installed? All right, let's check this out. Resident Little. Seems good. Maybe it's good. These are fine ass looking. <laughs> 